What's going on everybody? This is Al from PC Tech Review 101 coming back to you with another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to enable S SLI option in Battlefield 5. If you're like me and recently tried to, to attempt to um, play this game with two graphics cards and just to find out that it's not supported by SLI and extremely disappointed as this is the first Battlefield game that does not support SLI uh, then this video is for you uh, it's not a big deal uh, it's a quick fix and it's very easy to do and this is what worked for me so I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description uh, to this NVIDIA profile inspector It'll, once you download this and open this uh, profile setting you come to this uh, setup here and it's just very simple uh, in the profile you go ahead and choose uh, the game just scroll down until you find it there it is and then just one thing you're gonna change under compatibility this option here SLI compatibility bits DX10 plus DX11 and this is the number you're looking for 0x080116F5 I'll also leave this uh, number down below in the description so you don't get confused so basically you highlight that and click on this down arrow and scroll down until you find it looks like it's a it's in the bottom bottom half of, of this menu here so once you locate this you just click on that and then you go ahead and apply changes and you just double click that just in case and then there's just one thing I think we have to change in the game itself so I'm gonna go ahead and, and go to battlefield now the game itself and show you what else we have to change and also of course I, re I recommend using MSI if the burner that way you could see if the both graphic cards are working uh, so prior prior to applying this fix and I'm sure a lot of you saw the same thing uh, that the second GPU uh, wasn't even warming up it probably stayed at, at idle temperature and just the first one was uh, you know working so once this fix is applied and all the settings are correct you will see both GPUs working and that's how you know everything came through and you do get fantastic results uh, in this case I'm uh, I'm testing it with the two GTX 660s it's like seven years old parts so yeah just give it a little time to adjust okay so let's go to the options I'm just gonna go over the settings uh, some something else you must know you do have to uh, put this in direct X11 uh, so I think off the bat when the system picks up the graphics card for the first time it, it automatically starts you at DirectX 12 but you're gonna go into DirectX 11 in order for the SLI to work so that's one setting we have to change uh, the other one is future frame rendering change that to on and GPU memory restriction off that way you get the most performance out of your graphics cards so yeah that's pretty much it all the settings you need and then you just uh, mess around with these you know uh, again just uh, take a look after after I finish with this and get back into the game just take a look at the FPS I was able to get on such old graphic cards and um, if this video was helpful uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos uh, I got many more to come this year and uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.